Are universal rights nothing more than a mockery of the poor and needing? Unless rights are met by corresponding obligations, they are merely rhetoric, argues Baroness Honora O'Neill of Bengav, one of the most influential philosophers of our time. Professor O'Neill emphasizes that to have a right, that what it means to have a right, is to have a claim or to have a demand against some other person or persons. Um, and if we can't identify who those persons are, who those, who those duty bearers are, then to stand up and proclaim rights is, is meaningless. Born in Northern Ireland in 1941 and first educated at the University of Oxford, she left for Harvard University in 1963. Here, her interest was piqued by fellow students and staff, such as her supervisor, John Rawls, for the German philosopher Immanuel Kant. Her early studies have transformed how we understand Kant and has led to a renewed interest in his works. In her own interpretation of Kant's moral philosophy, we get um, very uh, um, illuminating interpretations and understandings of a whole variety of concepts, such as uh, autonomy and consent uh, and coercion and rights. And you can see that these are concepts that are very important to understanding um, a lot of uh, social issues. With an impressive resume of academic merits and positions, Professor O'Neill was also named a life peer in the House of Lords in 1999. In 2017, she received the Holberg Prize, with the jury stating that she was a true citizen philosopher. One of several highlighted topics was her work on trust and trustworthiness. On her view, trust is, is not just what we report. It's how we behave. So when the social scientists go out and ask people uh, whether, they're, whether they trust and to what extent they trust, uh, they can say one thing, but their behavior indicates that they still do have quite a high level of trust in a lot of uh, professionals and institutions. In Professor O'Neill's view, philosophy has an important role to play in debate and the shaping of public policy. Professor O'Neill is somebody who has um, bridged that gap between a very sort of scholarly approach and very sort of analytical and, and uh, interpretive uh, work in the history of philosophy, focusing on this, this towering figure of Immanuel Kant. Um, and she's brought that into social life and into political life. 